kangaroo. Apple, apple, orange, kangaroo. On today's show, we'll be looking at the imagination. In particular, I would like to show you my imagination. Now, for just a moment, take a deep breath. That's right. Now exhale. I have prepared this blue rectangle to help us investigate imagination. But I need your help. You have to picture this simple blue rectangle as a portal into my imagination. Now, let's view some clips of what commonly streams and pounds and stirs my imagination. Join me in viewing our imagination portal. Portal. Join me in viewing our imagination portal. Sometimes, when I'm having trouble getting started, and I have a blank sheet of paper in front of me, I need something to help me get going. Others might turn to something like heroin, or cocaine, or that beverage from the exotic Orient called coffee. I'm going to avoid as much use of cocaine and heroin as I possibly can. Coffee, on the other hand, well, I do indulge. But another way to help generate and pump up your imagination is to picture something that you enjoy. I myself like to imagine a walk with Mr. Barbecue Smith. We've just left Chrome Yellow and have walked out through the gardens. After viewing the beautiful flowers, we move out into the countryside. And Mr. Barbecue Smith tells me about the cosmos. He describes that the key to great writing is inspiration. Now, Finding your inspiration is the key to the key to great writing. Here is my poem dedicated to Mr. Barbecue Smith. Light Switch Mr. Barbecue Smith had only to stare at something more illuminating than himself to draw average apples from a well-tilled orchard. This illumination's beam not of cosmos, but of common clarity, did simply shine on that which small minds do repeat. Do repeat. This type of exercise often will help you build a stronger and deeper and more confident imagination. Think of it as the great detective once said, a mind palace. 
draw everything you can into your mind palace by simply placing each idea, each thought, each memory into the appropriate room in your palace. Dare I say they are beautiful? And if you want to remember how to draw, say, a kangaroo, you could place those ideas and memories in the drawing room. Pull the drawer open in your desk and place in how to draw a kangaroo or a space fish. When you want to recall how to draw the space fish, simply go into the drawing room in the palace and pull open a drawer. Or maybe you have it laying out on a table or a drawing board. Now I'm going to flip over the portal to my imagination. I'm just going to flip it over and expose raw imagination right here just waiting to have something drawn upon it. I'm going to draw on my imagination so I can draw on this raw space. First, of course, I'll pick up my General's Layout Pencil, extra black, and now I shall draw purely from imagination. No preconceptions here, except those stored in my mind palace. Preconceptions are probably stored in the basement. And here you can see I have drawn something directly from my imagination. This is pure, raw inspiration. This is Barbecue Smith style. I stared upon something more illuminating than myself. And I allowed the cosmos to run freely into my head. In fact, you could say the cosmos came inside of me. Sort of like um, a waterfall at first. But then I taught myself to tamp it down to more of a drip, 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 drip. Because you don't want the entire cosmos rushing into your brain. You have to teach by picturing and thinking about the things you would like to be inspired on or by beforehand. Then you stare at the light and in comes the inspiration. As you can see, it has produced probably one of the most interesting and original drawings ever, ever created. I'd like to make one small change, so I'm going to use, as we've talked about before, proper erasure technique, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. So here we go.
Ah, that is much better. See, I took my initial inspiration. I allowed it to come inside of me. And then I honed it. I honed it into this. Sometimes you just have to grab a hold of your imagination and hone it. Once you've done that, you'll produce beautiful drawings. I'm now going to sign my drawing in the professional manner. And there you have it. Yet another beautiful drawing. And as always, this is only a blueprint. You can make your drawings anything. You can hone your imagination, but ultimately, imagination comes from within you. Inspiration is all well and fine. Staring at bright lights, taking heroin, all good sometimes, but much better is to look inside yourself, hone who you are, and then present the parts you wish to present, because no one can tell you what to think. No one can control your imagination, only you. You choose when you let it out. You choose when to collaborate with others, because sometimes combining imagination is good. You can have imaginary cohort. Your imaginary cohort can work together to produce amazing drawings. Probably not as good as this drawing, but this came directly from Mr. Barbecue Smith. Now let's return to the portal in my mind. I'm going to take my drawing and flip it over to expose the mind portal one more time. Remember proper flipping technique. Now let's explore some more of my imagination. Thank you. 